Now the question is, let S be set of triplet A, B, C, where A, B and C are subsets of 1, 2, 3 up to N. Let even be the event that a selected triplet at random from set S will satisfy A intersection B intersection C equals 5, A intersection B unequal to 5 and B intersection C also unequal to 5 and A to be the event that selected triplet at random from set S will satisfy the condition A intersection B intersection C is 5. Now A intersection B is unequal to 5, B intersection C is unequal to 5 and A intersection C is also unequal to 5. Now P E represents probability of an event, find the probability of E1 and E1 is the intersection is 0 but A intersection B is non-zero and B intersection C is non-zero. Now if we look at total number of cases, for this given set, we can choose any subset in 2 into 2 into 2 n times that is 2 to the power n ways. So we have 2 to the power n choices for A, 2 to the power n choices for B and 2 to the power n choices for C. So total number of choices will be 2 to the power n into 2 to the power n into 2 to the power n which is simply 8 to the power n. Now we need to find this probability that A intersection B intersection C is 5 but A intersection B is unequal to 5 and B intersection C is also unequal to 5. Now if we look at the Venn diagram, now suppose this is A, B and C. So this is A, B and C. Now if we look at the regions, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now we are given the condition that A intersection B intersection C is 5. So we are not supposed to choose this seventh number. So there should not be any element in this 7. And since A intersection B is unequal to 5 and B intersection C is unequal to 5, there should be at least one element in this region 2 and at least one element in this region 4. Another way to look at this a to the power n is for every element there are 8 choices. It can be placed in either of these 8 regions. So total number of choices we have for all the elements is a to the power n. Now for e1 we cannot put any element here. So for the remaining elements we have 7 choices. So total number of choices will be 7 into 7 into 7 n times and then minus all those cases in which at least 1 is missing from 2 or 4. So if 2 is missing, then in that case we have 6 to the power n choices. If 4 is missing, we have 6 to the power n choices. And here we have subtracted this case where both 2 and 4 are missing twice. So we need to add this case where both 2 and 4 they are missing. In that case we need to add 5 to the power n to it divided by total number of ways is 8 to the power n. So probability of even will be 7 to the power n minus 2 into 6 to the power n plus 5 to the power n divided by 8 to the power n and that's your option B. Now it says find probability of E2. Now in E2 situation is same except for the condition that here this 6 must also not be empty. So in this also again we have total number of choices which is 8 to the power n. Now 7 is empty so total choices we have is 7 to the power n minus all those cases in which at least one of 2, 6 and 4 they are empty. So there will be 3 C1. So there will be 3 and then one of them is missing. So it will be 6 to the power n and then plus 2 of them they are missing. So there will be again 3 C2 which is 3, 5 to the power n and then minus all 3 of them they are missing. In that case it will be simply 4 to the power n. So this problem is nothing but it is a simple inclusion exclusion problem. So answer to the second part is 7 to the power n minus 3 into 6 to the power n plus 3 into 5 to the power n minus 4 to the power n upon 8 to the power n which again is option B.